Hey everybody, I got my uh, Micron 3DP uh, extruder installed. This is actually the first test, so uh, we're using some existing settings that I had. Uh, just made some basic edits to the file, and this thing is looking pretty good. It, it, it's definitely a little more accurate than my old extruder. It's a bit of a mess here. As you can see, I had to splice the wires into the old harness, and I threw some cheap uh, clip connectors uh, so that I didn't have to, um, you know, cut everything again if I needed to adjust anything. In my previous video, I, I said that it should fit unmodified, but that was incorrect. It, uh, I needed to basically cut out a piece of the plastic uh, bed that the old extruder sat on. And then that aluminum plate there that you see right here, um, that is what clamps the hot end to the extruder itself. So that plate and the extruder basically add the rigidity back to the bed and it holds everything uh, where it should be. And then I also had to remove the fan that's typically mounted on this ring back here um, and mount it on a little fan holder that I had that I used to cool the, uh, the extrusion in the previous model. So I just heated that up with a rework uh, nozzle and bent it down and then used it as a place to zip tie. Um, so what was great is that I didn't need any really custom parts. I could just uh, Dremel uh, away the... Uh, piece of the bed so that it would fit um, so I still stand by my claim that it is uh, you know it's pretty pretty drop in you just have to make a couple modifications uh, with a Dremel you don't have to print any parts um, and then obviously you need something to hold this fan but it you know it's it looks like it's printing pretty well here um, with very little calibration other than the updates to the firmware basically changing a couple of the steps per millimeter um, I had to invert the um, the drive because it it even though it's a gear motor, it's it it gears it up so that it's basically a direct drive. It just has a lot more torque. Um, and then I had to adjust some PID settings. But what's cool is they give you this uh, instruction manual. That's that's really helpful in getting it set up. I mean, I did I did the settings, and uh, this is basically the first first print. So uh, I hope you uh, I hope you like it. I hope um, you let me know if you know if it worked out for you or if what kind of modifications you needed to make. But um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching.